PR. Today what I want to show you is how to use Rococo to put in character animations into your video game. So we are creating a few VR video games and one of the VR video games that we're currently doing involves a lot of character actions. Ones that, yeah, I could probably spend the time doing myself, but I want them to look a little bit more realistic and for certain dynamic scenes, such as maybe a heroin overdose or you want somebody, you want maybe something to look more like a zombie or you want more action in or more professional realism in somebody being able to do tactical movement, whatever it may be. The best way that I found uh, is to use Rococo. Um, so what you do is first of all, you can find any type of movement either on TikTok, uh, Facebook, YouTube, videos, movies, whatever it may be. What I do recommend though is staying away from people withholding the cameras. Um, that doesn't seem to work too well. It has to be a stationary camera. Uh, a lot of, not a lot of frame transfers or like different camera angles that keep switching back and forth. You wanna stay on the subject as long as possible to get the best quality to transfer it into Rococo. So what I wanna show is just how I do it. So you can go onto TikTok, you can find whatever video you want. Uh, make sure that the subject is within the video itself. You do not want to have multiple subjects. It makes it too hard. If you can have one subject in, you can also use different types of video editing software to kind of eliminate people in the, in the shot, but it makes it a little bit more difficult. Anybody, any faces will show up on Rococo, so that's why I say stay away from as many different people within it. So I can just show you quickly here. As you can see, this is not a stationary camera or this is, it's somebody with a cell phone. So again, this makes it very difficult to be able to pick out one subject when you're in, say, New York City like this. You will not be able to do it. And also too, is depending on how long you want the video to go for, then you'll want, or sorry, the, the, the motion for your character to go for. I recommend anywhere from a few seconds uh, to up to 10 seconds. You don't really need much longer than that because you can cause it to loop and it makes it a little bit easier for you. So I've already done that, I've captured a video, but one thing that I do, do use is I use uh, this app here to just kind of do a, a screen capture, a video screen recording capture of the subject that I want. So I'll, I'll start the recording, I'll push play, and then I'll capture whatever I want. I'll pause the video, so I have six seconds, that's pretty good. So I'm using a, an app called Move AVI, and what it is is it's just a video recording. It's nothing special. I'm not doing anything here that's really fantastic. I just need to capture the individual walking. So once I've captured that, I can then export it. Uh, normally I'd cut it down to the actual, exactly where I want those videos to be. Say if I was capturing this person here, for example, this is too many people, but for argument's sake, um, that's what I would do. Then I would export it, call it whatever I want to export it, put it in. Once we've got it exported and the video that we want, we then open up Rococo or Rococo, depending on how you want to pronounce it. We would then go in to create a new one. You would drag and drop your video into here. Once you've done that, it will show up and it will you are able to turn it into an animation. Once you turn it into an animation, it will then say that it's ready and give you this little check mark. Animation clip has been created. You and Coco Studio and the Rock Up team. That's us. <laughs> then what you want to do uh, is download Rococo. If you do not have it, you can download it off here. If this is free. You can pay for it. Uh, we pay monthly for it because there's just a little bit more features and we want to be able to have cloud services and stuff like that. So we do pay for it. But after that, once you got it all ready, you can then throw it into here. So this is what it looks like. So if we go from the start, you'll open it up and there will be just basically nothing here. You can add your own scenes by creating a new scene here. Once you create a new scene, then you can add in your character and then you can add in your video. We already have that ready and I'm just gonna go back here. So we've created a scene. I'm not gonna go into too much on how this works. Uh, you can also get a device, which is the suit and everything else and cameras, or you can just do it the way that we're doing, which is somewhat free, but <laughs> it is available and it is easier. So I've created the motion within the, the app 
or online. I grab my video, I put it online, and now I'm in the app. Now it's transferred it into here. So now, as you can see, if I push play, the individual is doing such. Now, if I go to the video that I wanted to create, this one here, right about here is where I wanted it to start. So you can see that the individual is in kind of in a corner. He's curled up. He's kind of moving his arms, his head, his legs. And that's the motion that I was looking to capture. Now, if I go into here and I play it back, oops, let's not do that. Make sure that that's available. Now, as you can see, the hands and arms aren't exactly where I want them to be, but for this motion, this works for me for now. So once I've created the motion that I can work with or start with, I go into the export. Now I want to export an FBX. I don't want to do body mesh. I just want the, belt, the body skeleton. I don't need the face because I'm not doing any facial. And then I go to skeleton and I go to custom or change it to whatever I want. But I prefer Unreal Engine because that's what I'm working with. And then my mannequin. And then again, Unreal Engine. And then I set everything else to default. Everything's pretty good. And then where I'm putting, um, and then where I'm exporting my character to, everything looks good. So I'm gonna go export clip. Doesn't take very long to export it. Once it's done, you can find it in whatever folder that you put it in. And then we are going to open Unreal Engine. We're gonna close that, that does not need to be open. We are gonna close off this. don't need him anymore. So we're going to replace that one. Once he's done, we will put in our new um, animation. And again, you are able to let's get rid of him. I don't need him here. We're going to take our animation. We're just going to drag it right in here. That's all we have to do. Now it's going to ask you for your skeleton. I'm going to use just the skeleton that I was just using. So we're gonna import all. All right, now you can see it's been populated into here. So I'm gonna take my character, I'm gonna put him right there. And let's log off him for a second. And let's play the animation. As you can see, the animation is in there. You can see there's a little bit of clipping in there and obviously there's a little bit of issues with where he's positioned. So all that is easily fixed in my opinion, uh, actually within Unreal or anything else. But what I wanted to show you was just the transfer of getting a video of whatever you wanted, populating into Rococo and then Rococo and then putting it into uh, your Unreal Engine. So it's very seamless. It only takes about five minutes to do. The issue is, and I'm gonna state this again, is trying to find the proper um, video for the subject. You gotta make sure the subject is fairly positioned within the entire scene, number one. Number two, uh, whoever or whatever is filming has to be stationary. You can use a camera, but the issue is that the subject on your video in Rokuku may show that it's glitching around because the camera is also moving and the software can't really determine whether or not the subject is moving or the camera is moving because um, there's no real stability on the camera. Um, so it doesn't really know whether it's going back and forth. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this but I recommend it because it is a lot more simple and you do get some pretty good um, natural fluid mo movements. Um, I do have one here. I'm not sure if this one's gonna work, but I do have some dancing and other things that I put in here that actually work very well. Um, I don't think this one is one of them, but I will, <laughs> for shits and giggles, I will try and see what one this one is. Yeah, this one didn't turn out that great. But <laughs> either way, it's a start. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, let us know. And uh, we'll be putting on more of these. So as always, stay safe. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.